Imagine, you and your team are in charge of the physical security of your office complex. You are sitting at your desk, monitoring your video screens, and someone enters the building that you've never seen before. In real time, a video camera captures him at the entrance and compares his face to a database of employees. You and your team across the building immediately get a notification on your mobile devices that an unknown individual has entered the corporate campus. You move to the issue screen in your Vantic security application. Since the system did not find a match, the intruder's image pops up on a 3D map of the building. This isn't good, and he's not stationary. He won't be there long. Our intruder moves to another part of the building. He triggers a motion sensor, and we see that he's walked by another video camera. Looks like the server room. Definitely a place he shouldn't be. You grab your phone and begin the chase. You see on your phone that his location on the map has moved in real time. You rush to the server room and grab him before he has a chance to do any damage. Then you notify the authorities to pick him up. What business wouldn't want a system like this? How many months do you think it took a team of developers to create it? In Vantic, an application like this is built in less than two weeks. Okay, so let's take a closer look at our application in a little bit more detail. Uh, so the one thing that we've seen so far is it identify somebody who's not an employee. So the first thing we have to do is identify who our employees are. So if we come over to employee and then list employees, you'll see there's a list. I'll click on my record here. And so what you can see, of course, is the system loads up my employee information. I've got the list of times that I'm allowed within the facilities. And then I've got a list of restricted facilities. So I'm allowed in all facilities the company has except for building A. You can see I've got a small number of, of facilities and I've restricted building A in this particular case. So the next thing we need to take a look at is how does an employee get into the system? I'll come to add employee. We'll put an employee name, employee's phone number, and then any facilities that they're not allowed in. We'll say that Mark can't be in building B. And then all we have to do is hit submit. Now once we submit that, that simply adds the employee record. We don't see any user Im images yet. The system has not actually been trained. So here I've opened the Vantic application, clicked on employee setup, and then what I would do is I would scan the barcode. So once the barcode is scanned, then I can just take my images. You click on one of the camera icons, you click take photo, snap the photo of the user, and then do that for each one of the photos and then hit submit. And then once those are submitted into the system, the system is automatically trained and now the system can recognize an employee. So let's see what happens when I walk by one of the cameras in a building that I don't belong. One of the first things that you'll notice is that you've seen an email notification. The employee is in an area they don't belong, last seen at building A in the basement in the left stairwell. The employee will also show up in the issues list. The issue type will be employee and they'll be represented in the 3D model as well. The system also keeps track of guests and guests can be viewed by going to the guest list. In order to register our guest, we'll open up the Vantic application, click on guest registration, and then we'll enter our guest's details. We'll pick the person that they're visiting, and then finally, we'll take their photo. Upon submission, the user's details are sent to the platform and their face is trained so that they can be recognized again at a later time. In this application, we also keep track of the facilities. Each facility uses its address to automatically identify its geolocation as well as its correct time zone. And cameras are managed by adding or listing cameras into the system. Each camera keeps the last known image that was captured on it. All right, so now that we've seen the major function of our application, let's take a deeper look at how we built it. Here in Vantic Modelo, we see the app builder, which represents sensing and analyzing for a situation of interest. And we see our collaborations, which represent the actions that we take on those situations that are created. I'll start with the app builder. Here in the app builder, you see this application model that not only represents 
what the application does, but it is essentially the application itself. So here we see for the on-camera upload activity, it represents the entrance to our application. So when I click on its parameters, you can see that the entrance of our application is a topic, and the name of that topic is slash camera upload. As we work our way down, we see the other activity patterns that make up this particular application. So the first thing that when we get that camera upload is we create a secure URL to send off to our cognitive service. The next thing that we'll do is detect the faces. An image might not have one face in it. It may have six or 16 faces inside of it. And so we send the image off to cognitive services to identify any faces. This gives us back roughly their age, their emotion, and other various attributes of the individual. Once we have a list of faces, we identify if they are employees. Once we've determined for each face, whether it's an employee or not, we pass it down to the employee filter or the non-employee filter. If it's an employee, then we'll do a facilities check. Are they allowed in that particular facility? And if they're not allowed in the facility, then it will show up as a blocked facility and it will create the employee issue and therefore the employee issue collaboration. If they are allowed in the facility, we'll check their schedule. And once again, if they're out of schedule, we'll create the issue. Similarly, if it's not an employee, we first identify whether or not they're guests. And if they're not guests, we determine if we've ever seen this intruder or other person before. If we've seen them, we simply create an issue. But if we haven't, we train the system and then create the issue. This is how we're able to follow that individual around the building. As you see, Vantec offers a low-code styling solution that allows us to mix modeling techniques and coding techniques to create the API calls that are necessary for our third-party service. You can also see the real-time events as they flow through the system by using the on-screen debugger. For instance, here you see, as an employee walks by in a facility that they don't belong, each of the activity patterns execute in which to identify the employee issue. And when a person that the system's never seen or is not in the employee or guest list walks by, we see that it goes through the activity patterns that representing identifying those intruders of the system. For a slightly simpler example, we'll take a look at the guest registration page. Here in the guest registration page, you see everything that represents the user interface for registering a guest in the security system. So when our guest comes in, they fill out this form. This form is created with the Vantic Client Builder, a graphical utility that allows us to quickly drag and drop items onto a canvas to create unique expressive UIs. As you saw earlier, we fill out the first name, last name, the person who's being visited, and we take that individual's photo. When it's submitted, it executes this guest registration application. So when the image is uploaded from the Submit button, we run the Add to Guests procedure. We transform the guest information into something that's representative of how we want to store it in the database, and then we save it. This represents the entire flow for registering a guest and training the facial algorithm in the guest group. But how easy is it to modify a Vantic application? Let's take a look at one last scenario. We'll move back to our app, and let's say management has come up with a new requirement. They've decided that when employees badge in in the morning, and they go through the turnstile, at that moment we want to compare their electronic ID badge with the scanned face. So we right click in our model and we add a new event stream. This event stream is not related to the rest of the flow and we'll simply call this one on badge scan. Similarly, we could fill out the detail that perhaps the badge scan comes in on a topic and the topic name is badge scan. Once the badge is scanned, we need to figure out which employee it is. So we'll link a new task and we'll call this identify employee. In this step, we would look up who the employee is and we would obtain the employee's ID number. From here, we create a join activity. I'll call this join badge with image. And I'll take the employee, the output of the employee filter, and I'll link it to our join badge with image join pattern. Now I can determine if there's a match by creating another downstream transformation. We'll say, does it match? And then finally create a filter where if there's no match, we link that to our employee issue. Perhaps in our collaborative activity, if we've noticed that the employee's face does not match their badge, we can add a new task and we can notify security. And we might also execute a custom procedure that locks all doors. And so you can see how easy it is to create 
real-time, event-driven Vantic applications. But what if the people who understand the system requirements aren't technical? They just know how to build the requirements of the system. Vantic also has an application modeler, which is a real-time requirement system that can have multiple developers, multiple requirement stakeholders of all different kinds working together to identify the event-driven aspects of the system. Here you see in the app modeler a plain textual description of what the system does. You can see that a security application involves cameras. That cameras send images, and when those images are sent, we want the system to identify faces. Notice this is just a plain text description of what the system's supposed to do. Both technical and non-technical stakeholders can work together in a shared environment to identify the system requirements. We'll detect employees, and if we don't find employees, we'll detect guests. But if we do, we'll check the facilities and the schedules. If we don't, we'll determine if it's a guest and if it's not a guest, if it's an intruder. Once we've identified all the requirements of our application, we can take this and turn it into an actual Vantic application. We move from the model mode to the generate mode. This is where Vantic engineers start applying Vantic activity patterns to these events and reactions. For example, an image sent, we match that to the topic camera upload. And identify faces, we match that to an application task, which is going to run a procedure. Each one of these maps to a Vantic activity pattern. Once the Vantic engineers have mapped each of these, they can click on the generate icon. And this creates the Vantic application. Now you'll see from the projects menu, we have a security application. And if we look at the application, it has created the security application, it has created the security issue, and the employee issue. This probably represents approximately 70 to 80% of the work necessary to build the application. In just a short while, I could finish the application. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. To learn more about Vantic, contact us at Vantic.com.